Part 1 of this series covered the structural analysis of the bell crank. In this video, topology optimization process of a bell crank will be showcased. Please ensure beta version is switched on in Workbench. This can be done under Options then activating beta options. Also let's make sure level set method is activated. Under Topology Optimization in Optimization Region, select these three faces as exclusion regions. This ensures that these faces will be unaffected by the topology optimization. Let's set the optimization type to level set based. Under Response Constraint let's retain 20% of the mass and solve the model. Real-time updates can be seen under Topology Density Tracker. This is the optimized shape. Let's change the retained threshold to 0.15 as this will help to thicken certain members. We can see the original in the final mass. The bell crank is ready to be reverse engineered in space claim. From the results of the topology optimization, let's transfer to design validation system. Let's update the results. Now, update the geometry. Rename the original part and the optimized part and make a copy for future reference. We can use Ctrl C and V to copy and paste. Let's suppress the components that aren't going to be used. Create name selection so it's easier to retract faces later in mechanical. Shrink wrapping is like taking cling wrap around a shape. We can use it to smoothen out features, applying a 1mm gap size and preserve features. Additional smoothing is required, changing the angle threshold to 180, activating volume aware. We can see the difference between the clean geometry and the optimized shape which we can take into mechanical. Let's delete the other geometries which aren't being used for analysis. Let's go ahead and assign a material to this part. We can update our geometry selection in the body to ground connection by choosing the appropriate named selection. Delete the previous mesh, create a Cartesian method and generate. Cartesian meshing is a patch independent method. This means it doesn't respect the small geometry patches and this method can be used for meshing facets. Assign the correct named selection to the force and delete the cylindrical support. Since the facets don't make a perfect cylinder in the pivot face, it doesn't pick up the face as a cylinder. Now, Add a remote displacement and let rotation be free in the Z direction and everything else zero. Let's go ahead and solve the model. As we can see, the mass is reduced by 78% while increasing the maximum stress only by around 